Hey everyone, this is Adam and today I'm going to be showing you how to export animated WebP images directly from Figma using the Tiny Image plugin. So the first thing we need to do to get started is just go up to the resources icon in the Figma header toolbar up here and click on that. And if you search for the word tiny image, so that's one word, uh, T-I-N-Y-I-M-A-G-E. If you search for tiny image, you'll see tiny image compressor pop up. And all you need to do is click on that result um, and then click on either the run button here to run the plugin, or you can go over to this more options icon and click on that. And you'll be able to uh, add that to your saved Figma plugins to make it a bit easier to access again later. So I've already done that. And because I've already got it saved, I'm just gonna right click on my Figma canvas, gonna go down to plugins, and then just go down to saved plugins and click on tiny image. And that's just gonna open up the plugin that we just saved a second ago. Um, so for today's example, I'm just gonna create a really simple uh, WebP animation using these three images. And all I need to do to get started while the plugin is open is just click on the images you wanna include in your animation. So I've just clicked on those three layers and now I'm gonna go ahead and click on this button in the tiny image plugin called create GIF. So if I click on that button, that's gonna allow us to load up the three images that we just selected in Figma. And you can see here that we've got all these other options as well. Um, so this allows you to sort the frames by their order on the page. So if you wanted to change the order based on how they're ordered on your page, you can easily do that. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it as the default for now. Uh, you can also do things like change the duration. So the default duration between the frames, you can change down here. Uh, or you can actually override these per frame. So for example, if you wanted this middle frame to only flash up for 200 milliseconds, you can override that in the plugin settings per image uh, or per frame as well. So that's something you can do there. So I'm just gonna leave that at 500 and I'm just gonna change the default delay to one millisecond or one second rather. And I've got that set to infinite and I've just got it set to the default size, um, but you can also scale that up or down based on these settings as well. So if you wanted to do it at half size, uh, you can scale that down. I'm just gonna leave that at one X for today. And then I'm just gonna set the quality a bit higher. So I'm just gonna pop it at the default, which is about 90. And that's pretty much it. So uh, I'm fairly happy with how the playback's looking. You can pause this and jump between your frames if you wanted to get a bit of a uh, more detail on how that animation's looking. But I'm pretty happy with that for now. So to, to export this as an animated WebP image, all we need to do is change the default export format from GIF. So instead of doing animated GIF, I'm actually gonna change that to the animated WebP option. And I'm gonna click on that and then click on the export WebP button. So if I go ahead and click on export WebP, that's gonna add my frames to the WebP image and render it out as a special animated WebP image file. So I've just got this prompt to save my file. I'm gonna click on save and just pop that on my desktop. And then to view the file, uh, the easiest way to do it is just to open up your browser and drag the image file in to the browser. So I'm just gonna do that now. And you can see here that our WebP image is animated. So this is just one file containing our animated frames. And it's allowing us to use this in the browser as a much more uh, optimized file size compared to a GIF. So if you're tossing up between GIFs or WebP, uh, WebP may actually be better in some cases, uh, depending on what kind of compatibility you're looking for. So if we jump over to the caniuse.com website, uh, we can get a bit of a sense of what kind of support the WebP image format does have. Uh, as you can see, it's fairly well supported across most browsers uh, these days, which is great. And there's some partial support here for not supporting to animated WebP images. Um, but as you can see, those are actually pretty much just older versions of Chrome and older versions of Opera. So if you don't need to support those older versions, uh, then WebP actually might be a really good option for you to be able to get that better image quality compared to GIFs, um, as GIFs only have 256 uh, colors in the image. So that's why they tend to look a bit washed out sometimes. Whereas with WebP, you get that PNG level looking image um, with all of the compression savings of WebP as well. WebP is a very uh, good format for compressing the file size down, 
So if you're comparing a WebP image versus a GIF image, just from the file size alone, you're always going to get a better quality and better optimized file size from a WebP file. Um, so in terms of the use cases for WebP uh, animated images, this is perfect for adding to your website. So if you wanted to share this on your website or add an animated uh, image into your social media, uh, then WebP is probably going to be a really good way of doing that. But as I said, you just got to weigh up the pros and cons of WebP versus GIF, uh, for example. Um, but anyway, that's a pretty quick tutorial for today. Um, as I mentioned, uh, there's some extra settings you can kind of play around with in the GIF creation uh, settings, but I'm not going to go through all of those today, but you can have a play around with them yourself. So for example, if you wanted to change the way that the image fit works, um, you could make a image fit instead of uh, fill. So containing the images instead of automatically covering uh, the entire size of the, the GIF. Uh, you can totally do that. You can change the dimensions to be different from what the first image is, which is what the default image size is. Um, and you can also obviously change the delay and all that sort of stuff down here. So that's what that looks like uh, in the Figma plugin. So uh, I think we'll keep it there for today. And I hope if you've been wondering how to export uh, animated WebP images directly from Figma, uh, as far as I know, this is the easiest way to do it. So uh, yeah, if you're interested in trying it, I hope that you give it a go and uh, best of luck with creating your animated WebP images uh, from Figma. Thank you as always for watching and we'll be back soon with more Figma tutorials like this one very soon.